I had his gut and yard detective here before, you know. All right, all right. But you're certain that a warrant has not arrived from Bombay? I'm oh, glad that and blast. And fog leaves for Hong Kong tonight. Well, you can go with him. We'll just send the warrant to Hong Kong. Don't worry, sir. You can count on us. Yes, it's what worries me. When we arrive in Hong Kong, we will have only two hours before the next ship leaves for America. If we miss it, then I will lose my bet. Bet? Ha! The only bet, Mr. Fogg, is that you will never leave Hong Kong as a free man. <laughs> Pass Patu, go to the agent's office and confirm our bookings aboard the General Grant. But right away, monsieur. Taxi! Taxi! The American shipping office! Quickly! Allez! Allez! Really good. I take you quickie, quickie, runny, runny. But uh, are we going in the right way? Yes, yes. Very short cut. Chuck, chuck. Hmm. Why is I think I have seen that driver before? No, it is impossible. Quick, mister. Valley interlesting. Look. See nothing. <laughs> Ain't surprised you can't see nothing, cause there's nothing to see. Ha <laughs> ha! That'll stop our Mr. Fogg. He won't leave without his manservant. Oh no, not him. Ah, oh, sorry, sir, but we don't have any message from passenger Passepartout. A flight we just have to leave without him. I see. Very well. But should you hear anything, I will be on the deck. Good day. So, he's leaving, eh? Very clever. But not clever enough, cause he's not leaving without me. Mon Dieu! Oh, but where am I? Oh no, the ship, it must be gone. What can I do, what can I do? But wait a moment. What is that? Hmm. It is strong enough. It is big enough. But will it work? to be alive. Yes. Well, it's time for morning tea, Passepartout. Bring it to me in my cabin in precisely five minutes. Oh, oui, monsieur. Of course, monsieur. Very good, monsieur. <sighs> Thank you. Excuse me, monsieur, but something is bothering me. I have a feeling someone is following us, trying to stop you making this journey around the world. Utter rot, Passepartout. Now, why would anyone want to do that? That is the problem. I have no <laughs> idea. I just have a feeling someone is watching us. Nonsense. Now, pour another tea, will you?
I'm sorry, gentlemen, but it'll be a couple of days before they clear the line. I say, driver, if I offer you 5,000 pounds, would you lend me the snowplow? I may have a use for it. 5,000 pounds, huh? Well, that seems fair enough. It's worth only $500. Sure, go ahead. I'll give you five pounds for this old crate. Shucks, that old crate ain't worth nothing, sir. You can have it. Whoa, thank you very much. I am obliged to you. Mr. Fogg, you say you have to be in Omaha in five and a half hours to catch the train to Chicago. Precisely. Yep, well, that's 200 miles. Well, yep, I guess we can try. How much did you say? I'm prepared to pay you 4,000 pounds if you can do it. But, monsieur... Enough, Passepartout. If we do not reach Omaha in time, I will lose my bet. If I lose that, I will also lose my fortune. If Mr. Mudge was to ask ten thousand pounds, I'd pay it. Oh? Well, I guess the price has just gone up. You did say ten thousand. Yes. Shall we go? <laughs> Give Mr. Mudge his ten thousand pounds, Passepartout. We have arrived with ninety seconds to spare. Oh, I thank you. Goodbye, gentlemen, and good luck. Whoa! 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 Oh, mon Dieu, sacre bleu, terrible! Oh, 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 oh. Sorry, 
Sorry, Mac. I did the best I could. That's five bucks. <laughs> Around the world, you say? As a matter of fact, yes. Now, would you like to make yourself a hundred pounds? Listen, Mac, there's a fish swim. Very well. Take me to a ship which is capable of sailing the Atlantic. You got it. One ship coming up. <laughs> Will you take us to Liverpool in England? Oh, only Liverpool. Why not to China? I said Liverpool. No, but I'll take you to Bordeaux in France, because that's where I'm a-going. The fare is 12,000 pounds. Very well. Take us to Bordeaux. Oh! <gasps> I say, Captain Speedy, you realize that if you take me to Bordeaux, I will not get back to London in time to win my bet. I couldn't give a hoot about your stupid bet. Yes. Well, you see, I do. Now, Captain Speedy, take us to Liverpool. You'll hang for this fog. I don't think so. You see, I am a fair man, sir, and I have a proposition for you. Proposition? Yes. I'm willing to buy your ship for 50,000 pounds. Oh! And at the end of the journey, you may have what is left of her. Left? Yes. In order to achieve the speed I require, we will have to burn all the coal and all of the wood on her, even the furniture. Huh? Mon Dieu! And I'll also pay the 12,000 for our fare. That's a reasonable proposition, don't you think? Yeah. As a matter of fact, to do, Mr. Boxer, shake on it, I'll forget any of this ever happened. <laughs>